Hey everyone, I'm here today to do another quick one take video. I'm going to do the video on my favorite acrylic paint. Here's all the different brands of acrylic paint that I own. I'm just going to go through them really quick, you, quick with you and show you what they look like in the tube and on paper and what I think about them. So the first brand that I have is Artist Loft. It comes in this big huge tube like this or you can also purchase it in these tiny tubes like this. I got this in like a palette of 12 different colors. So with this Artist Loft paint, it's honestly not my favorite paint. It definitely needs to be watered down if you're going to use it. Here it is on a piece of paper. As you can see, it's very thick consistency. It really holds its shape when you squirt it out of the, the tube. And when you see it's just super super thick so I'm sure this would be really great for canvas painting but for nail art you want something much thinner or else the design really it stands out like it not it stands up on the nail if that makes sense so there's that one there second one is folk art paint this I have just this one and then also a, like a holographic glitter one. It's not really holographic even though it says it is. This is one of my least favorite paints. I find it to be really thick again and super greasy. I actually just got a bunch of it on my hand and as you can see it's like pretty shiny. I don't know. I just think that it's greasy. If you don't shake it before you use it a big glob of grease will come out instead of the paint itself. So here it is. Again, it really holds its shape when you squirt it out of the tube, so you'll definitely have to water it down. And it's just really thick. It's really not my favorite. So that's that one there. The next one I have is Craft Smart. This one is super inexpensive. It's really great quality for the price point. I don't think I've ever seen this paint for over a dollar here in Canada. So that's that one there and here it is on the piece of paper. As you can see it doesn't hold the shape when you squeeze it out of the out of the tube. It does kind of start to pull out a bit but not too too much. Uh, this one I find to be a little bit chalky. Um, it can use just a little bit of water but nothing too like dramatic, drastic. It is still like quite thin as you can see. But yeah, I find this one to dry a little chalky. I don't know if that really makes sense. It's kind of have to see for yourself. But then I have this Dazzling Metallics. I really like this one. I have it in gold and silver. And I bought it at Christmas time for Christmas designs. Uh, it's really great. It's uh, nice and thin. I'll show you it right here. This silver one. It's nice and thin. It, again, doesn't hold too crazy, like, it pulls out when you pour it out, and it's nice and thin, and it's got great, great, great coverage. So you don't have to go over it, like, 16 times like you would assume that you would have to with something metallic. It is really, really great coverage, and just super sparkly and metallic. So this next blob here is an Americana, Americana paint. This is the kind that I own the most of in my collection. It is a really good quality paint. I really like it. It again needs a teeny tiny little bit of water, nothing crazy. Like literally like you put like a little dot on, into your paint palette or onto your paper or whatever you get and you just put a wet paint brush in it and that's like more than enough water to water this stuff down. So there it is. You can see again it doesn't hold its shape. It kind of forms into a nice little bead and it spreads out nicely. It's got great coverage, it's not too thick, not too thin, that's a great one. My all time favorite is this Americana Gloss. It's the Americana brand but it's for like glass and ceramics and it's, a th what it is is it's just thinner I find. With this paint you don't need any water at all, you just use the paint straight from the bottle and that's more than more than enough like it's just a really it's the perfect consistency for nail art I really really like it it's my all-time favorite 
and here it is on the paper. And you can see again it's an, it doesn't hold its shape it forms into a nice little bead and I'm just using the same uh, dotting tool to spread it as I used for the metallic so it's going to make it streaky and everything but I don't have another dotting tool a clean one see how thin it is and how it really doesn't and that's kind of the cons consistency you want when you're doing like nail art you want it to be really thin because if you're painting a design on your nail and it really like sticks up off the nail it's hard to smooth the nail out and make it look just nice and smooth so this one is my favorite um, and all of the rest of these ones are great quality I got all of these at Michaels all of these different kinds of paint I purchased them all at Michaels except I'm pretty sure you can get these small artist loft ones at Walmart as well so and I think you can actually get some of these brands these brands of acrylic paint at Walmart as well and other stores but I I purchased them all at Michaels they just have the best selection in my opinion so that's everything if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them if I missed anything let me know again in the comments below and if there's any more videos you'd like to see kind of doing this whole like one take thing just because it's easy and I'm in the middle of kind of a stressful couple weeks because me and my family are going to be moving here in a little while um so yeah if you have any ideas for more of these quick one take videos that you want to see let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to make one for you Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.